Hi. We've previously talked about the prior in N object tracking as well as the measurement likelihood. Now we're going to have a look at what the base posterior density is in N object tracking. To get the posterior density, we start with the prior for N objects and the measurement likelihood. The base posterior is proportional to the multiplication of the likelihood and the prior. And what we want to arrive at is an expression for what this base posterior is. And we have already done this for single object tracking. In single object tracking, similarly, we have a prior and we have a likelihood, and the base posterior is proportional to the product of the two. We also saw earlier that the structure of the base posterior is a sum over data associations, where we have the posterior density of the single object state, given the measurements and the association theta, multiplied by the probability of the data association. And for tracking n objects, we're going to see that we have the same type of structure for the posterior density. To arrive at an expression for the posterior density in n object tracking, we're going to start by having a look at the posterior density for a unimodal prior. After that, we will derive the expression for the posterior when the prior is a mixture density. And we will see that the posterior is proportional to the sum over the prior hypothesis H, a sum over the data associations, and then for each hypothesis and each association, we have a weight and a posterior density conditioned on the hypothesis and the association. And lastly, from all of this, we will arrive at a general expression for the posterior density at time k, given measurements up to and including time k. And just like in single object tracking, we will have a sum over data association sequences from the first time step to the current time step. We will have a weight for each data association sequence and a density conditioned on the data association sequence. 